Hi there. Well, as a shooting man, I've just been asked to help to thin out some cutouts and geese, some kind of geese that are causing a great deal of problems at a local school. They're coming in in their hundreds onto the playing fields and making such a mess that the children can't play there healthily. So I've been asked to come in and uh, thin them out and frighten them away. <clears throat> but the thing with geese, they soon learn, so it'll only take a couple of days and it'll also give us some for the pot as well, rather fun. But while I'm doing this, I'll just show how, how I'm going about it. In this case, I haven't got goose decoys, I'm actually making my own. And what I'm doing is taking some plywood, it's an old thing I did, trick I did ages ago, and I'm making a three-dimensional body by cutting them out of ply. You can see here I've cut these shapes out. Um, first of all, the silhouette of the bird with the slot here, and also a piece of wood here, two by one that I've cut, made a point on and slotted, and then screwed both ways through. And also the body itself, which will slot onto this, so that we'll get an effect like this, where the bird rings not nice easy to carry, you slot on as easy as that, and you see that they're like that then. And I'm going to paint these next to show you. And uh, they're very, very effective, easy to carry, such an easy way to make decoys. In fact, I might even try making a few pigeon decoys if I found the same way to see how they work. But uh, very inexpensive, nice, nice and quick way to make some three-dimensional decoys, which we can now paint up. Now, what I've got here is some white emulsion paint, a slight pink tint to it, because this is a special emulsion that actually turns white when it is dry, so you know when it's dry. I've got some burnt sienna, acrylic paint, plenty of that in there, for tinting it. And this should be all I need for doing this particular painting and blending up. Now then, we're not going to work with my lights to dark, so we're going to gradually mix the, blend up these colours for the browns from dark to light. <coughs> so first of all, First of all I want to mix up a nice mid-brown, make a nice mid-brown, so I've got my brown here, my black and my white, just take some of that colour, a bit of water, just to get things moving, a bit of white, just to make a mid-brown, a little bit of black, take it down a little bit, don't need plenty of it because I'm going to need plenty of it, plenty of water in there, and go back to my bird, and We'll start to put this nice mid-brown on with plenty of water. It's an acrylic paint so it's waterproof so it'll go, it'll, it'll be uh, waterproof for this job. I know I'm going to put a black neck up there so I'm going to just cut that off there. It's an even thin coat, doesn't take an awful lot of paint. I'm not showing you doing one side, you'll know how to do all the rest. Slightly lighter as I come down, right through that bit of wood. But that paint I just mixed was just enough to do one side. And then up here we want that to be black as well, so we'll take some black there. And make the whole of this black. with decoys is they're seeing them from a distance, they're not going to be right up close by the time they get close enough to see this isn't the real thing, it's too late for them. Hopefully we'll show you these in use. And while that's doing that we'll get into the, the tail here and add some darks into the tail. Use the brush sideways now just to flick these feather shapes up. Just very roughly indicating the feather shape, so all we need to do. Now I need to come back, make it a lot lighter on the front here. Take some of my white, a slight tint of the mucky water, I don't want it too white. And we'll just start coming down around the, the breast here. Blending it in.
little strokes to make the feathers on the breast. And then to finish off, we put a bit more pure white to really start to get this feeling more of the, the feathers on the bird. And finally, back up the top here, we need this very important white patch. This is a bit like the white patch on the pigeon's wing. This is what's going to draw these birds in. That's, this is the important bit. Right, that's about enough for front of the goose. Now I'll show you how we do the top. Right, for the top we want the same brown again, so I'll take some more of that brown, plenty of water, add a little bit of black to it just to take it down a bit. So there's the first coat painted on, on one side, 